Hello, you're watching Telecom TV. I'm Guy Daniels, Director of Content. NTT Docomo is developing a 5G open RAN ecosystem in collaboration with its partner Red Hat. And joining me now to provide an update on the progress of this collaboration work and for the latest RAN news from NTT Docomo are Sadayuki Abeta, who is Vice President at NTT Docomo, and Azar Said, who is Senior Director, Global Solutions Architecture at Red Hat. Welcome, both of you. Thanks so much for taking part in our discussion today. I better say, six months ago, we had a chance to sit down virtually and discuss the collaboration between NTT Docomo and Red Hat on Docomo's 5G Open RAN ecosystem, or OREC. Your company had a vision for this to be deployed in the global market. Can you give us all an update on progress? Yeah, thank you for the question. That, uh, at the last session in July, uh, we just published a white paper on OpenRAM. In the paper, we described that the benefit of OpenRAM, I think that uh, we don't need to explain that benefit of OpenRAM since everyone already knows well. We also explained the challenges of open run, including interoperability testing, integration, performances such as the capacity and the power consumption. And uh, uh, so we need to, uh, to solve those challenges. To mitigate or solve the challenges uh, and accelerate the open run in the world, we create the open run ecosystem, OREC, as you mentioned, they're working with patterns such as Red Hat. So uh, I'll talk about the activity after the June session. In, in the uh, in last October, uh, we set up our shared open lab. The partner brings their solution, so such as hardware, accelerator, platform, and software. And we built the VLAN testbed in our R&D center located in YRP in Japan. We now start the uh, lab test with multiple vendor combination in parallel. One of the combination is that uh, Red Hat provides open source platform, Dell provides a uh, cost server with Azure chip, NAC provides software, and Dialynx provides an accelerator, uh, so TL card. So uh, we integrate these combinations during the test. And this test lab, operator can access. That means operator uh, remotely access to this shared open lab and they use their uh, preferred combinations in doing the test. So you, they can uh, save time for doing the uh, VLAN test. They can save the cost for the test. So Docomo uh, supported this test. Uh, because we have the uh, capability or experience of interoperability testing or integrating that uh, equipment. So uh, the difference that uh, uh, our uh, progress from that just uh, from the uh, dry, the uh, biggest thing is that we have the, we opened the uh, shared route. So, and we also uh, start the discussion with operators. Actually, it's a, uh, Korean telco, so Korean operators decided to work with us and we'll set up the lab with our OREC product. So uh, we will accelerate this activity in this year. Okay, thank you very much for that update. Now, NTT Docomo is participating in MWC 2022 virtually. So what is the latest news from Docomo? Yeah, as you mentioned, originally we planned to uh, bring our open lab to MWC Barcelona. So then uh, the customers were uh, the visitor access to our YLP lab in, from the uh, Barcelona. But the, unfortunately, we have decided not to have the physical booth uh, due to the COVID-19. But fortunately, we will, this is a remote lab. So we can show that our remote lab or our, our customer can access to that our remote lab uh, through that our online booth. So we can show that the uh, combinations of performances that uh, this shared open lab. 
I'm sure there's going to be a lot of interest in that. Thank you very much uh, for that. And Azar, looking at the collaboration between Red Hat and NTT Docomo, can you tell us why Red Hat's OpenShift platform is critical to the success of OREC? Red Hat provides the complete um, base platform to run uh, different components of RAN, from RAN CU, RAN DU, um, RAN Intelligent Controller, and, and so on. So what we do is provide that binding glue that allows all of the different software to run. And then we also abstract the hardware, which is Dell here. And uh, one of the new things that we did in this uh, work with uh, Entity Docomo as part of the OREC is a new accelerator. So far, we had been working on different accelerators from NVIDIA and from Intel. This time now we're working with the Xilinx accelerator. So also for us, there was some new learning here to bring and then provide that capability as part of that particular platform. Now, Red Hat platform is completely open, which is in line with the vision and the goal that NTT uh, Docomo had, uh, which is to create an open platform uh, with different components from different vendors and bring that all together. And that's really what they're trying to advance. And that's part of the fundamentals of open RAN ecosystem. And that's exactly where Red Hat fits in very nicely with hand and glove. Well, you're both big supporters of Open RAN and the philosophy behind it. Uh, Azar, how does Red Hat's own ecosystem help Entity Docomo's OREC? That's a great question, Guy. Uh, we have worked with several different partners to incubate different types of solutions and test them, validate them, so that when they go into customer's lab, they are, you know, we are confident that they work. That's one. Second, that the customer's pain points are reduced in terms of you know, barrier to adoption that's reduced. So our own ecosystem allows us to A, learn from what is going on from their products perspective, from their software perspective, and how they can be integrated in an agile manner on the platform. And then we bring those learnings into our customers as they do the POCs before they run into production. So it, it really acts like a pre-integration capability before we go into the customer facility. Now, as I said, one of the things we are doing through this OREC was, is, is adding new partners to this capability, which is a first. Um, I mean, this is a customer instituted exercise, which is Entity Docomo. And there they brought a set of ecosystem partners together and they said, hey, we need to get this working because that's what we want to be able to accomplish or deploy in our infrastructure in the future. So let's go test it. Let's go identify the issues and challenges. And so we are able to come with our learnings and experiences from our ecosystem, our work with those different partners, bring that to the table and quickly jumpstart this exercise to allow us to get to a point where now we can actually advance that cause and build more on that innovation. Well, thank you both very much indeed for providing us with an update on OREC and the partnership between your two companies. Looking forward to seeing how all of this develops. Many thanks.